I'm on the back end. We finally made it. We finally made it. Yay! We have cupcakes. Hey! This is so pretty. Yeah. Look at this. One what? day we'll have one of these. I know. These one, day. one day. One day. One day. Even lizard. Oh wow. Look at his little face. Yeah. But, huh. Would you want one of these one day? One day. I've never seen one of those before. Yeah, Ryan has one. Common. They're from the Cayman Islands. They're super cool though. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> I remember Emily saying she was gonna try snails when he when she first unboxed them. Yep. So is he on snails? He is on snails. Sometimes if we don't have snails or yeah. something different, we'll do pinkies mice. Oh, so yeah. Interesting. He takes those down just fine too. What yeah. do you know? This is like oh, amazing. I know. Can you feel it? Yeah. Wow. So cool. It's beautifully done. We got a lot of our like classic animals. So we got Rex down here. There's Doug up there, and then there's Rexy. Who will eventually be out down there. And Cheyenne, Cree Feather Loss, <laughs> Allie over Allie. here. Yep. Oh. Our new, we do have a blue monitor lizard now. We don't really have an yeah. official name for him yet. Isopod. Yep. Oh yeah, Isopod. I actually never even noticed the Isopod. I'm just chilling over here. Nice. <laughs> Where's the Isopod? Right over there. Oh, well, something for uh, Ed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ed's Ed's babies. Sure. She had said she would try to stop by we're because yeah. so weekend. we got to hang out yeah. and then we uh, gave her a bunch of orchid mantises. Um, oh, so, really? So, yeah. Yeah. Somebody was mentioning that in the chat yesterday. Now I know why. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love reptiles, if that wasn't obvious already. And who here loves reptiles? Maybe not as much as mantises, I know, but yes. Oh, we love them, we love them. Well, just, I love insects nice. too. I'll tell her about you. Snakes are my favorite. Do you have a favorite type of reptile? I can't choose. You can't? I know I we are can't. Rex, so. <laughs> Types of reptiles. Do you want to try to name them? Yeah. Okay, I think it's gonna be easy. Okay, snakes. Snakes. <gasps> just like this albino hog nose right here. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then there are lizards. Lizards are another one, like this bearded dragon right here. Yeah. <laughs> um, there are crocodilians. Crocodilians. You even said the right word, which includes alligators, crocodiles, and caimans. Turtles and tortoises. <laughs> yep, nailed it. <laughs> So yeah, those are do, and those are our, our fourth type of reptile. Yeah. Very, very soft and delicate. We'll be super careful. Yeah. We have a lot yeah. of sheds at home. Is this from Doug? This is from a ball python ball named Martha. Ooh. She was big for a ball python though. Yeah, this is a massive ball python. Ooh, honeycomb pattern. It's so bad. Touch it as much as I like. This is probably some hog nose right here. Probably a lavender hog nose. This is... Ooh, a lavender hog probably, nose. there's not much coloration or pattern on it. Yeah. Oh. Or it could be just like this a super like conda. A baby I'll at least hog. hold it down. Yeah, that's definitely a young one. Look at that. What's a baby hog? This is a baby that hog one? nose? It's very soft, too. Ooh. You're like a bit this of a... This is probably like... I think this is a super conda. This might even be a rattlesnake, actually. Ooh. I think this is a super conda. Let's see. Because it has a vertical line going oh, down. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that is a super conda. Really? Wait, wait, hold yep. that up. I want to see. This one right here, he was talking about. You can point it out if you want. Super conda. So we see the line going down. Jeez, yeah. look. So, yeah. All right. You're an reptile expert. I got it. Like, <laughs> we'll start. Well, he's been watching Emily a long time. I know. You're so when smart. did you start? You better get a biology degree. <laughs> you were 10 and you started watching Emily when? How old were you? I think I was five. Yeah, you were five. Wow. So. Literally original. He has That's learned a, a lot. Yeah. You're to tell which one's the reptile. Oh, you're a tiger salamander. Oh, perfect. <laughs> you, you got tell that? Type of animal Jeez. Factor Yep. <laughs> perfect. So you can touch them both on the back. This one is the reptile, then. I won't try to fool you anymore okay. since it's oh. not even worth it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. I it's know. Like... So he loves to live underground. Yeah. And so this guy, as you mentioned, is a tiger salamander. And as you mentioned before, they're amphibians. Uh -huh. Are you hungry? Did so, you see that? So yeah, they are super, super cute. Being an yeah. amphibian means you spend part of your life cycle in water. I so we've seen frogs, them. this probably looks yeah. similar. Mm -hmm. They start off as jelly-filled eggs. They hatch into little tadpoles eventually. Yeah. And then they eat as much as they can until they grow their little legs. Yeah. Do you know what happens when they lose a leg? They regrow it. Yep, this guy actually has lost one of his front legs before. And this is a window well. And you know what happens if they get their tail bit off by a predator? 
They regrow it. Yep. What about their head? Uh, no. Yep. Very good. So they do not regrow their head. It's the one part they can't regrow. But you know what this animal is? Actually, yep, and they actually can regrow parts of their brains, mm -hmm. which is pretty neat. So they're used to a lot of medical research. Wow. So yeah, they're really grown. They live about three feet underground where their favorite food crawls around. Worms. Yep, do you want to feed them a worm? Sure. It's probably hungry. Worms again. So, my gentleman, would you like a snack? Touch it to Are his nose. Hungry? Oh, he's probably hungry. He's usually always hungry. There <gasps> you go. Wow. Good job, wow. buddy. He snaps it right up. Yeah. I love it. You'll see him get it down. Now, can salamanders swim? I know. Water, which is the big reason why they spend a lot of their time underwater. See these little ear things right here? Those yeah. are gills. Yep, those are external gills. Very good. So it's literally almost like if you were to take a fish gill and turn it inside out, it's like a very similar structure. Show yeah. this because I don't remember seeing yeah. this. Yeah, she has three, so I don't know which one it Yeah, there's is. Meep, and then there's a... Third one, which I can't recall the name right now. Boy, yep. just the... He is very, very cute. They get their name from their fat little tail. Yeah. And do you know what geckos can do with their tail? They can regrow it. Yep, and they can drop it at will. Uh -huh. So if he's getting attacked and something tries to attack him, he'll wiggle his butt a little bit, and then hopefully whatever's attacking him grabs the tail, because I think it's the head, and then he'll drop it at any one of these rings, mm -hmm. because if you're grabbing getting grab it down here. No, you just dropping your whole tail. Yeah. Yep, and then hopefully whatever's attacking them gets their tasty tail snack. He scurries away with his little life, and it's a pretty good trade-off. So, yeah. yeah. Very, very smart. He's usually very tired because he's usually awake at night. So sometimes if I just sit here, just like fall asleep in my hand. I hear water. <gasps> yeah, because it's a turtle. Aww. They love to live in water. This is what's called a map turtle. Mm -hmm. They encompass in a map. Yeah. And they get their name from the lines on their skin. So have you ever seen contour yeah. lines on a map that show elevation? Yeah. yeah, that's kind of exactly what they look like. Yeah. So let's see. Speaking of turtles, um, we're actually at an ARBC World well, Bending. As we were packing up on Sunday, Emily just uh, randomly got dropped off two turtles. Yeah. But there was a painted, er, not painted, a uh, red-haired slider. Yep. We adopted him. Really? She you asked, the radio slider? Yeah, she uh, wow. she asked Luke, like, do you want a radio slider? Yeah. And we've been looking for a rescue. Oh, yeah. So good. he was like, yeah. yeah. Good. good job. That's awesome. Well, you can give Shelby a little pet on her shell, too. That's very yeah. nice of you. He's an old dude, our, oh, yeah. uh, our guy. He has very faded colors. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, it's good. He'll have that a good hospice answer. with you guys and enjoy his final years. Well, it's just an extended part of their skeleton. So if you, she just took the models, I think. But if you were to look on the inside of a turtle shell, you can see their spine running across the top mm -hmm. and then their ribs coming down. So it's basically just a modified rib cage that extends outside the body. So like... It still attaches like bones and everything yeah. to like similar places. So, like their yeah. legs are attached to their shell because it's part of their skeleton. And their spine is attached to their shell. Well, let's see if Shelby. I want you to see her flip herself back from her back. It's always really oh. fun. Awesome. Oh, come on, girl. Yeah. Good yeah. Job. Cool. All right. Did you see what types of parts of her body she used? Um. Yeah. She used mostly her feet. And her head. Yep, and her head and that long muscular neck. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's another way they can flip themselves when they get flipped over. Oh, you're such a good girl, Shelby. She's actually having a good old time. She's pretty calm right now. Yeah. They're see. from this area, and they're my favorite snake. They're very cute. Okay, I have a few things in mind. <gasps> I bet you know. <gasps> Woo! You are a conda hognose snake. Yeah, he is. This is Bruh, the hognose this snake. This is Bruh. Yeah, he's probably been in a couple videos, I think. Yeah. You have not really held a awesome. hog nose. No. You have a couple of times, but not much. Hi, bro. They're, oh, they're, they're, they're native to Minnesota. Yep, these ones definitely are the Plains hog nose. Mm -hmm. Yep. The Eastern hog nose, yeah. not so much. Yeah, because yeah. they kind of got renamed from the Western hog nose to the Plains hog nose. Yep, yep, exactly. They have like a, a raised middle. A spiky kind of bubble. Yeah. Hi, like buddy. A, a are you back. getting his face? Yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah. yeah my name is. Can I flip over his belly? Let's oh, see if he has a solid him. black belly. We named him Hobbs. Or they named him Hobbs, not me. He does. Hi, we helped with the name. This is the biggest snake we get in the Midwest. Yeah. The bull snake. This hey. is Tina. Hey, Tina. Do you remember Brad? I remember, we remember Brad. She is one of Brad's children. Oh. So, yeah, she's a, yeah. a, a How very, very. Huh? How stripey. How stripey? Oh, good. Good. I haven't checked on him in a while. Or, sorry, her? Him? So yeah, I'm still new here, so I'm learning a lot of the snakes still. But yeah, so Stripey is still doing good. But do you want to hold Tina? Sure. Perfect. Hey. Do you know what their defense mechanism is? Um, they will rattle, the, rattle their tail. Yep, so is they want to try to imitate a rattler by sticking this yeah. tail in dead leaves or rocks, and they buzz it, we call it tail buzzing. Yeah. She's beautiful. She We're used to tiny snakes. We all love, we have all yearlings. Longer, yeah. five feet long. 
they're hardy animals. They're not delicate. I mean, some to some extent they are, but you know what I mean? Like, you, you're you allowed to learn, I always say. Yeah. Humans and stuff like yeah. that, so yeah. yeah. Doesn't Emily use a snake hook for some of her bull snakes? Yeah. Yeah, some of them, I for remember sure. from yeah. the video. Yeah. Um, circus. Circus, probably, yep. I've never handled circus personally, but I've heard stories. Like your warmth. Yeah. Luke, yep. you're just gonna hug it. Yeah. Hug her and hug her. Yeah. You, because yeah. he's back. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Here's the next one I brought. This is an exotic snake. This is yes. from Texas. Mm -hmm. You know which one this is? You're an albino milk snake. Nailed it. Nice. That's awesome. So sweet. Yes, this is an albino milk snake. Her name's Pumpkin. Hi, Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Yeah, she has that pumpkin color, and there totally. you go. I can hold her yeah. too. So milk snakes got their name because farmers found them around the hooves of their cattle. And so they thought that these snakes were drinking the cow's milk. Yes. But they weren't. And they just got a goofy name. They were actually there to help the... She's really, really skittish. Yeah, Hi. that's okay. We're used to skittish run of yeah. us. Yep. We have a milk snake. Yeah. Oh, she's so we're used to milk yeah. snakes. No, yeah, she's good. She's, she's gonna try love. to slip. Yeah, well, I love her color. Don't you eyes. love her color? Yeah, look, she's yeah. albino. She's You're mine albino. too. Yeah, you taking them all with you? <sighs> <laughs> try to stop me, right, Luke? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's give her a touch Hi, at the very girl. least. Hello, pretty girl. Yeah. Hello. God, I love you. Oh yeah. She's so, so smooth. She almost feels like plastic, so, I say. Love her yeah. colors. Yeah. Love her colors. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Can you see Absolutely. And especially like now, with, like we have a Trust lot of like, you to find a baby a spider. Born diseases and stuff. Because actually, now what? I, I see him. For the, um, the same. So, do you know who shed this is? That's Doug's. Nailed it. <laughs> Perfect. We got it. <laughs> My gosh. You even know what shed this is. Oh, yeah. Problem. So, oh, wait, Doug's what in kind of, here. So, what kind of a uh, snake is Doug? He's a boa constrictor. Yep. Oh. He's a boa constrictor. Whoa! Hey, yeah, he's gonna be out. How's it oh, going? You got some fans, Doug? Goodness. You wanna put them around your shoulders? Sure. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So there we go. Can't say no to that. Yeah. Perfect. And then just actually helps a little bit and it poses him a little bit if you get underneath yeah. him, like so. Yep. Oh my yeah. gosh, Luke, you are totally living the dream here, bud. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, I'll stay wow. Right here, friend. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> just like there you go. Yeah, Luke doesn't <laughs> yeah. like. They are, they will give you every warning in the world usually before they strike, unless you're for some reason really surprised and then like, they're you, Look, you gotta look at me. Them. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, they apparently had. Uh, um, food Network. Food Network. Cupcake Wars. Cupcake Wars. She was That's on what cup it was. Yeah. So I remember that after that episode. <laughs>